Hey guys, welcome to this video on hole setting. Hmm? Main clauses. Exciting stuff, huh? Well, for some of you maybe, for some of you maybe not. I have to admit, I'm a bit of a, uh, a bit of a grammar geek, so for me this is cool. Well, let's get right into it. I have a question here. Vel er in hole setting. Van hole setting. What is a main clause? Simple answer. A main clause is a stand alone sentence. That is, a sentence that makes sense on its own, or, or a complete sentence. That's it. Full stop. For example, jeg danser er til om morgenen. Jeg danser er til om morgenen. Jeg danser er til om morgenen. This sentence makes perfect sense on its own. It's a complete sentence. Therefore, this is a whole setting. Head sentence. <laughs> or main clause, of course. Uh, my next question. Vel er overstillingen i en whole setting? Vel er overstillingen i en whole setting? Let's take the above example. So we have jeg Dansa out till om morgonen. So, when I ask you this question, all I really care about is subject, verb, adverb. And as you can see, we have the subject first, verb next, adverb next. Jeg, subject, dansa is the verb, out till is the adverb. <laughs> Notice how in English you would say, I always dance, so always coming before the verb. But in Danish, uh, you're saying, I dance always. So that's sort of the main difference between English and Danish. It's important that the verb comes first. This is the basic structure for simple sentences in Danish. Okay, that's basically it. Moving on. Whole settings conjunction. Main clause conjunctions. Bear with me. There are only five main clause conjunctions. Uh, by remembering these conjunctions, you can ensure you have the correct word order that we talked about before. Um, okay, so the five conjunctions are O, FA, ELA, MEN, SA. O, FA, ELA, MEN, SA. So, if you join two sentences using one of the above conjunctions or the previous conjunctions, this tells you that you have two main clauses and thus that your word order needs to be subject, verb, adverb in both cases. For example, Jeg danser altid om morgenen og jeg stopper Aldrig. Jeg danser altid om morgenen. Og jeg stopper aldrig. Jeg danser altid om morgenen. Og jeg stopper aldrig. If we take away the conjunction, we are left with Jeg stopper aldrig. I'll never stop. That is, we have two main clauses with the same Word order. Subject, verb, adverb. Min kat hæder faktisk katamel. Men den spiser heldigvis kartofler. Min kat hæder faktisk katamel. Men den spiser heldigvis kartofler. Min kat. Subject. Hæder. Verb. Faktisk. Adverb. Men. Conjunction. Den. Subject, spiser, verb, heldigvis, adverb. Perfect. Okay, time to practice. Order the following words into sentences. Take a look at the list, hit pause, and, um, and put the sentence into order. Play the video again to check your answer. The correct answer is... Hen. Kommer desvære ikke. Han kommer desvære ikke. 
Han kommer desværre ikke. Next one. And the answer is D. Reino. Faktisk. I dag. D. Reino. Faktisk. I dag. D. Reino. Faktisk. I dag. Next one. And the answer is Min. Hun. Laver. Altid. Ballade. Min hund laver altid ballade. Min hund laver altid ballade. Perfect, that was it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that that made sense. Please leave any comments uh, or get in touch if you're still not sure about anything. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the second kind of sentence in Danish, and these are called little setninger. So, you can look forward to that. See you again soon. Hi hi.